Welcome to a new series that we're reviewing. Kakarillo Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. They kind of threw the name a little differently than what we said in our... <laughs> what we're reviewing for spring. Like, Kak- but today is Kakarillo episode no. one. Woo! I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we are anime viewers only. No source material. We're going to sus- discuss the episode and give our scores at the end. <laughs> You ready to jump in? I'm ready. So, right off the bat, they gave us the opening theme. Um, actually, I really I enjoyed like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. First of all, I like the traditional kind of music from Japan and stuff. And that definitely, it definitely has, throughout the whole, actually, episode, they have, like, the traditional kind of music style in the background. Um, obviously, it's a little bit more modernized, but... <clears throat> It does definitely have that traditional vibe, and I'm actually a huge fan of the traditional music. So it is nice to get that in there a little bit. It makes sense, though, because you get that with, like, an inn. At least from their culture vibes. Like, the inn that they're in kind of has that traditional look. So, um, right off the bat, we get the character, Aoi, who uh, also has a bad past. Like, Can I just say I automatically got Ancient Magus Bride vibes? Alright, I did too, but also, the, the person, I can't remember who it was that recommended us to us, also sent us comments, like, it looks like it's going to have an Ancient Magus Bride uh, feel to it, and okay. it definitely did. It, 100%. There's lots of similarities, like, <laughs> yes. bad pass, girl, marry me, all that stuff. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like that. Like... Uh, she was saved by an Ayakashi as she was starving, um, which kind of comes off of the point like later where like she's talking about, well, her mother obviously abandoned her, her grandfather eventually passed away, and her grandfather left him enough, left her enough, not him, her enough to uh, basically live to where she can. And she's like, long as I can just eat and not uh, like long as I don't go hungry, she'll be fine. And I think that has a lot to do with the fact that she was about to probably starve to death. Right. And obviously, if you're about to starve, you probably don't want to be hungry again. <laughs> Those PTSD, you know, you get a flashback, you're a kid about to die. Right. Um, but yeah, she's a little special, kind of like Chise. She has strong spiritual powers, or like, uh, yeah, they say she has strong spiritual power. So... <laughs> They're attracted to her in a way, just like right. the series where she say in Ancient Max's Bride. <laughs> there are some similarities. Um, I, that's the first thing I thought. I was like, "This feels familiar." <laughs> and like they're in a special hidden realm. Uh, they did have those as well in Ancient Max's Bride. Like it's not a bad thing. Like obviously it's going to be common anyway with anybody that uses like. Fey or uh, Akashis or anything like that. They usually have their own realm, so... Um. Yeah. But she comes <clears throat> across... Uh, the Ogre. What was his name? The Ogre God. Um, Didn't he just introduce himself as the Ogre God and something else? I think maybe he said his name. I can't remember. You know what? I have it loaded up over here. Actually, oh I don't my know. god, they have no pictures on... They have no character pictures on my no, anime they, list. He's just the head of the t- Tenjinya, and they call him Ogre God or Master Innkeeper. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, so I don't he... actually think that he has a name. Yeah, because she I... fed him, and he knew her name like right off the bat, which obviously we find <laughs> out why is her grandfather... Well... Kind of sold her off in a way. Yeah, for real. What the hell? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm in debt. Uh, you know what? You can have my granddaughter. <laughs> Just marry her. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, Gramps. Why are you pulling stunts like this? <laughs> Which leads to her getting kidnapped. And him just saying, hey, you're going to be my wife. And first of all, I want to point she is racist. She's like, I don't want to marry a damn filthy ogre. 
and every like every now she's like, oh, the ogre's filthy. Oh, you show your true colors as an ogre, and then can like, you, can you blame her? I think it'd be okay to be like, I don't want to marry you because I don't know you or know who you are. Not like I don't want to marry him. Cause... I think it's. <laughs> I don't think it's specifically. Well, cause later she ogre. says, I don't want to marry that man. I mean, ogre. But I meant she. <laughs> I think it's more along the lines of she doesn't want to marry a monster. She's not like specious or whatever. Hey, the I don't know because be. she she's getting close with Genji. Okay, maybe she hates ogres. All right, maybe <laughs> she, thinks she all hates all... ogres. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she thinks ogres are subhuman. That's it. I mean, they kind of are. We solved it. <laughs> they are, they are not humans. So but she hates not humans. But um, I do like when uh when she ran out though and we got the look at uh Tenjin Ya. The um, the ships flying in the scar, uh, the sky. No, the, the ships were flying in the sky. I thought that was a really cool shot of the city. Yeah, I actually did like cool. that animation. Um, but of course, she doesn't want to marry him because she he's an ogre, because she's racist. Uh, so she decides to take up a job to try to pay back a hundred million <laughs> yen. Okay, that's that's a lot of working. That's a lot. What the hell was Grandpa doing that he's in debt 100 million yen? <laughs> he, Jesus Christ. He gambled a little bit too much. He obviously for was really? rich because he left her enough to live for basically the rest of her life. Why didn't she, she just use that money and pay him? Maybe it's not 100 million yen rich. It's got to be at least a, a, a decent amount <laughs> to, to live. But It's got to be. Oh, maybe, I don't know. This is true. Uh, I do like when she's looking for the job, and the one girl's like, "We don't have any work for you. Go in on side. Go in on side." I'm like running back, fading out. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I thought that was hilarious to me. Go in on side. Thankfully, Genji <clears throat> has a restaurant that's failing. Right. So that I just want to say, to look. real quickly, the other woman who wouldn't let her be oh, like a this. Yeah. Rio. yeah, she's like, I won't let you get near young master. I'm like, she's literally asking you for a job so she doesn't have to marry him. <laughs> Why are you true. mad? <laughs> Why are you upset? I do, I do like how it's kind of a little bit, it's a w- little reversed here. Women are not allowed in the kitchen, so it's definitely a lot of reverses over here in this world. <laughs> I thought that was kind of odd, but yeah. <laughs> women are not. All right, sure. Well, that's fine. She'll just go open up her own eatery with Genji. Right, right. Who, she'll just... I actually like Genji a lot. But uh, he definitely has the, the nine forms that he can transform of. Obviously, He's he the should... nine-tailed fox. Yeah. He's got... There's Naruto. Yeah, <laughs> he is a little better when it comes to transforming off than the beginning, <laughs> though. <laughs> But she's going to start an eatery, and I guess that's going to be the her basis job. of the show. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to have that. Welcome probably to... learn a lot. We're going to be learning a lot about the spirit world, I'm guessing, through her and her job. Right. And get connected to the it's, people. It's spirit food wars. Yes, but spirit... <laughs> here, here's now the guessing thing. Since this is the first episode, obviously we're not going to know exactly where it leads. Does she pay off the debt and not marry him? Or does she go off and marry him? You're asking. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's well, theory time I hope, with I feel like couch show, talk. I feel like this show's going to turn into maybe a bunch of demons liking her. Oh, it's definitely Ex- a reverse harem. I have, right. <laughs> Especially kidding. with the little snippet at the end with those other two uh, males. We don't know what they are. Some form of Ayak. Ayashiki. <laughs> Ayakashi. Ayakashi, that's it. That, I'm not a huge fan of, like, harems in general. Especially, like, I feel like maybe she's just gonna, you know, slowly become attached to the ogre guy. Or maybe the fox guy. At least the uh, fox guy is nice. I'm rooting for Genji. All right, I'm and rooting res- for Genji. respects her. <laughs> that is true. The other guy's like, oh, I'm so mad you don't want to marry me. It's like, yeah, you literally kidnapped her <laughs> out of the human world. No, it's like, 
there were like no after credit scenes, which were nice. But there was like a little snippet at the end. It was like the things she was feeding in the beginning. It was it went, oh, she's been kidnapped. Who's gonna feed me now? That's what it said. That's all it was. Like a little joke at the end. <laughs> but I I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go. It's a long or twenty six episodes, which is yeah, that's a lot. Well, longer. That's the longest show we will review, or if we finish. True. It will be the longest show true. that we have reviewed. By like a couple episodes, that is true. Because we were reviewing a much longer one. Dropped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, for now, that definitely is. Uh, you want to jump in the scores? Sure. I will give it, I guess, six-ish? Six and a half-ish? It's hard to judge the first episode from like this type kind of anime, I guess. Because I feel like we mentioned this every first episode review. You pretty much have to build your world to an extent and introduce what's going on. Which, like I said, it has ancient Magus Bride vibes. Which isn't like a bad thing or anything. It's just, that's what it reminds me of. Um, the main character seems nice. She seems like she can be a enjoyable character. I like Genji. I don't like the ogre guy right now. <laughs> Um, I don't, her grandpa's kind of, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> but yeah, it was okay. It wasn't like grab my attention immediately, but it wasn't like, this is atrocious. It was kind of just, eh, eh. I agree with some of those. I'm going to give it a seven though. Uh, I enjoy the music a lot just because it has that traditional vibe that I'm a huge fan of. Uh, oh, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I have mentioned it before. I will mention it again. <laughs> and it'll probably never be mentioned again in another episode just because that's how I am. <laughs> I want to talk about music once. That's the first episode, right? Like we do every anime. I'm pretty sure we talk about the music the first episode. Then after that, we just kind of don't. It might get a little mention here and there. But right. overall, uh, I do like the world they're in. I like the characters so far with Genji and Aoi. Um, but it just, you know, just set up the premise. I guess that's literally what the first episode was supposed to do. And it did it. It didn't like exceed anything. It didn't like, you know, do anything great or amazing. But it just right. did what it's supposed to. And I think that does it for our review. That's it. Woo! Now it's spiel time. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload. Um, comment down below. Let us know what you thought about the episode, what you did, didn't like. Uh, if you're excited for more of it, uh, just know confirming denying theories as we are anime viewers only and plenty of others are. Our Twitch links are in the description below. And until next time, peace out. See ya.